Two days. So the line-up for the final, Ty Wolfen, and will go from the inside in the red helmet colour. Bartos smiles they out of gate number two in blue. Freddie Lingwood will come away from gate number three in white, and Martin Vasilik off the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Vasilik sits in fourth place in the championship. Second last time in Melilla. Passed by Bewley there. Looking for a touch of redemption, wants to win here. All four do, of course they do. Of course they do. Martin Vasilik is building up quite a CV. He's won six Grand Prix, he's made 16 finals. He's got a pretty good ratio there, actually. Win, winning uh, six times out of 16, that's a decent return. Can he do it again from the outside? It's been tough from there later on. Track conditions on the outside gate, tough. Inside gate, so were the ones they chose straight away. Wolfenden had no hesitation at all to go from the inside gate, made it work in the semi-final. Can he do it again? He's got a hard charger in Smarslik, but Smarslik's in the comfort zone. His main rival, really, is alongside him on the right. Freddie Lingwood, 20 points behind, going into the final. Here we go, then, for the last time. Tapes up. We're into the first corner. Whoa, it's Ooh. tight. Lingwood's gone down. Yeah, just again, tight first turn. Lingwood trying to come across, and he wasn't yeah. in front. No. He leant on Smarslik, and Smarslik wasn't for moving. No, he wasn't getting out of the way. Yeah, we don't really need to see that one again. We will, but uh, that was just a tight first turn. It'll be all four back. Hopefully, Freddie can dust himself down. Craig Ackroyd's been a busy bee tonight, hasn't he? He's, uh, referee's made a lot of good decisions tonight, though. Every one of them. He's got it just about spot on, I would suggest. Okay, they leave the start once again. Certainly, the three on the inside, one, two, and three, they're all together. You're absolutely right, Kelvin. Freddie Lindgren just looking to move over and stop Smarslik having a clean run into the corner there. The elbow goes in and uh, Smarslik does nothing, just sticks to his line. Lindgren goes down, but that's just typical first turn bunching and we will see all four back. All four back is confirmed by Craig Ackroyd. Freddie Lindgren well, leaning all over there. Mm. If you want to be really, really harsh, he might have been excluded for that. I, but, I, uh, I think in the first turn that would be too harsh, though. I think that's absolutely the right decision. Yep, have to agree. So we'll do it all again. It's tight. Look how tight that was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Schmarslick, nothing he can do. He's in the middle of a sandwich. Yeah. That's just getting tighter well, and tighter. Well, he couldn't move to the left because Tyler Wolfenden was there, so uh, no malice. Freddie Lingren will take his time and move back. Another slight delay. Arthur Smarslik just trying to uh, find an extra half a yard. Yes, <laughs> exactly that. He needed. Exactly that. Martin Vasily, you can see how tough it is off gate number four. He was nowhere when no. the tapes went up. I think the track's just basically worn out on the outside. Mm. Going to need a bit of good fortune. Probably you've got to think about plan B, haven't you, with a cutback and try and grab as much out of it as you possibly can early on in the race. You've almost got to miss it, but only just by enough so that you're there on the pace, but you've got a clear run to cut back. Yeah. So you don't actually have to shut the throttle off too we'll much. We'll finish yeah. tomorrow, OK? Exactly tomorrow that. we finish. Yeah. <laughs> Feels a bit like that, Phil, doesn't it? It's been a long day. Yeah, it has. Relax, guys. It's going to be some tired bodies by the end of this, that's for sure. Sun going down yeah, in the no sky. Problem. Let's hope we don't have too much longer to complete the meeting. No rush, guys. Freddie's bike just, just being attended to. Dave Haynes and John O'Burks working furiously time, there You've on the bike. Of time. Yeah, it's been a busy day in that pit lane. The mechanics working overtime, straightening bikes. I'm sure the riders have been fairly You've demanding on changing everything between races as well. Yeah, Boring wheels now as well. Look at that. That's friendship. <laughs> Loaning wheels out. Pete Adams there looking What's after that? Ty as well. The full crew out for Ty, and it's working tonight. As I say, Johnny Jorgensen in his corner as well was brought in and Tetero took a little bit of time to gel, but guys, yeah. it looks like it's beginning to work feel, yeah. now. John is a calm character, rode with John actually when I rode for the Coventry Bees. Good performer himself, mm. international standard. Won three you world championships alongside Nicky yeah. Pedersen. Well, when Freddie's ready, we go. exactly what it takes at this very top level. You add methanol? Level. One second. Have you had methanol? Yeah, we're good. You're good, yeah? Bartek, you had methanol, guys, yeah? OK. 
About 30 seconds, okay? Here we go. Yeah, it's all right. About 30 seconds and we'll go. 30 seconds. So tense time for all four riders. Tight. 30 seconds and we go. Two minutes is about to be put on by the uh, referee. Bartosz Marzlik looking for his fourth Grand Prix win of the season. In 2021, he managed to win five when minutes, he and guys. Artem Laguta Two went head-to-head. -head. They won five each. Two minutes tight. With a uh, terrific campaign. Wouldn't be a major shock if he did manage to win here and win his fourth Grand Prix of the campaign and move further away. He has been the dominant rider in the World Championship. And as I mentioned before, he's going to lead the World Championship by a significant margin, whatever happens here in the final. The ideal outcome for the neutral is for Freddie Lingwin to win and Bartosz Marslik to finish in fourth place, which is possible. Of course it's possible, but Bartosz Marslik, of course, will have other ideas about yeah. that. He won't be happy with that. No, he won't. He'll be focusing on a win. So the restart of the final. Wuffenden now approaching the inside gate. Run through the lineup for you once again. Wuffenden will go from the inside gate with the red helmet colour on. Alongside him, Bartosz Smarslik in blue. Out of gate number three in white is Freddie Lingwin, and off the outside in the yellow helmet colour is Martin Vasilik. A warning for Ty Wuffenden that he received earlier on. He's behaved himself ever since. Start line is tough, really tough with all those uh, ruts in there. Carolina, the uh, wife of Freddie Lingman there, keenly looking on. Always by his side, very much part of the team. Well, the riders just, just making their yeah, uh, so much time. So critical. Well, it is, isn't it? Well, you can just see how uh, worn out the start line is. It's, uh, it's a tough one for everybody, isn't it, now? All four start positions are very well used. Nobody wants to go off a uh, fresh patch. Here we go, then. Second time of asking for the final in Riga. Green light. Start Marshall. Yeah, he's happy now. Moves away. Green light's on. Oh, Wuffington got a roller. No, he's not there. Smarslik hits the front, fires himself round the first corner. Wuffington now relegated to third place with that. Fred oh, the red light's on. Yeah, I think it was because uh, Ty Wuffington, he actually went, when before the race started, I thought he was a long way back from the was. tapes. They have to be 10 centimetres away from the tapes, and it was certainly more like a metre. He penalised himself there. Yeah. Not sure we needed he's, the restart. He's on the warning. I mean, if the race has been stopped, surely he's got to be out of the race. Wow. What's going on now? All sorts of debris on the track. Looks like a peak's flown off. That must be Freddy's. Looks like Freddy's, Freddy's peaks from his look, crash look like earlier. It's, uh, flown off. But uh, if Craig Aykroyd has pulled the race back because of the movement from Ty Wuffington on the inside... Unless he's seen something else and it's just an unsatisfactory start, he would have to go, wouldn't he? He's on a warning. It was a long way back. We're hearing that actually the race was stopped because the peak of Freddie Lingren's was in the middle of the track. It wasn't going to do any harm to anybody. Wow! Let's just take a look how far back he is from the start. He's rolling. You can see the bike yeah, before. He... he was moving when the tapes went up. Yeah, I thought he's he would be so lucky to get away with this. This is, un been on this is unbelievable. Look how far back he yeah, is. Yeah, he's a long way away, almost a foot away from the tapes, moving as the tapes go up. Snakes to the first corner and Ty Wuffenden, well, he's a, he's lucky, a lucky chap. Boy if he's still he's in a this lucky race. chap. Surprised the race was stopped for that though, with the peak coming off. Yeah, are you think the amount of times you've seen a, a chain guard, chain guard rather, in the track? Slightly bizarre one that. I'm not sure I agree with Craig there. Craig's had a smashing night, but I don't agree with that one. Got another bus jumper. Yeah. yeah. I think we're having it confirmed that that's the second warning for Ty Wuffenden. Wow. Two yellow cards makes it red. Bitterly disappointed for Ty Wuffenden then. Second warning of the evening. And he can't believe it. No, but it's, it's a fact. He can't believe it's it, but correct. he did take a chance on the start line. Only a few seconds left for Martin Vasilik to get there. Here we go, then. Third time of asking. 
Everybody rushing now. Oh, the yeah, they're under massive pressure. Smiles again, gate two. Freddy Lingren, gate two, three, gate four for Martin Vasilik. Here we go, third time of asking. Oh, Lingren. Lingren out of the start. What a start that is. No pink on his uh, hat. He doesn't care. Into second place comes Bartos Marslik coming on strong. Down the... Ooh. <laughs> Tight going into turn number three. Freddy Lingwin holding the inside line. Smarzik around the outside. Vasilik back in third place. Smarzik's got more speed. I would be surprised if he doesn't go straight past Freddy Lingwin. Look at that. How much speed has he got? He has found the right setup. Lingren now back up the inside. Can he get down there? No. Smarzlik, perfect. Superb stuff, fabulous start initially from Freddy Lingren out of shape now. The track has deteriorated quite significantly. The Bartos Smarzlik out in front. Dramatic scenes here in the final. One more lap to go. He's going to win his fourth Grand Prix of the championship chase. Totally dominant. Failed to uh, make the final in Melilla just a month ago. Won the Speedway World Cup, of course, two weeks ago in Wroclaw. And Bartosz Marslik on top of the box again. Wins in style. He hasn't had it all his own way here this afternoon. Had an exclusion early on. But Smarzlik will not be denied. I tell you, look what it means to him. He's earned that one, hasn't he? He oh. earns every single one of them. But that was a tough night for him. Yeah, it was a tough night. Freddie Ling were making him work over time there with a stunning start initially. Many congratulations to the championship leader, the world champion. Moves on to 122 points now. Stretches his lead in the World Championship. The speed he went past Freddie Lingren after Freddie had made such a superb start, it has to be said, yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah, it was indeed. Stunning performance once again from Bartosz Smarzlik. Desperately disappointing for Ty Wooford and picks up 14 World Championship points, but he was looking set for a win. His wait for a Grand Prix win will continue. Can he do it? In the Principality Stadium in Cardiff in three weeks' time, he'll be very much hoping so. But for Bartosz Marzlik right now, overjoyed with another win, never ceases to have the hunger to win. Overjoyed with his performance in the Speedway World Cup, delighted with the team's efforts there. But back to individual World Championship chase, and Bartosz Smarzlik now has one hand on the trophy. You have to say that. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I'm pretty certain he's got two hands on the trophy, you've got to be honest, but uh, extends the lead, but of course not by too many, with Freddie Lingren having a great race, great race, great meeting, second place. Sold of the final, then Bartosz Smarzlik wins comfortably, but Freddie Lingren back in second place, 18 points for him. Martin Vasilik picks up 16 points for third place. Ty Wolfenden being excluded. Picks up 14 World Championship points. We'll do a crunch a few numbers for you. Lingren on 82 points coming into the evening. We'll move on to 101, if I'm correct. So, um, uh, but we'll see it again. Fabulous start initially from Freddie Lingren, looking like a winner at the very early stages. Yeah, and a much better start for Martin Vashlik as well, coming from gate four. But Freddie Lingren just reacted quick. The bike just jumps. Look at it. It's not many people pull a bike on uh, Smarzlik, but Smarzlik, a little mistake in the first turn, moves out wide. Looks like he's going to have a run straight away up the inside after generating a lot of speed. He's wider in the first turn. He's got his wheels in line. There, he gets the thing going forward. It's a little bit too late. Lingren's got the speed. But I tell you what, you could see right from the first lap that uh, Smarzlik just had so much more speed in the bike than Lingren, which is rare because when Lingren's in front, he's rarely slow. But uh, here, this is where Smarzlik's now winding it up. He's got a free rein around the outside. Lingren defending on the inside. Look how much more speed he has. Must have been a shock to Lingren to, just to see how quickly he came past him. Yeah, absolutely. So Bartosz Marslik with a dynamic move early in the final, which sealed the deal for him. My match, which is not always very good to be reliant on, it looks like a 22-point lead for uh, Bartosz Marslik as we head towards uh, Cardiff in three weeks' time. But uh, once again, Bartosz Marslik proving his class, the three-time world champion, the championship leader, moving further away, had a 20-point lead coming into these, uh, this evening's events.